Today we're talking about faking orgasms. Ah, uh, every woman who is sexual with partners. Has faked an orgasm. And this question came from a lesbian woman who yes. said that she's been faking with her girlfriend and she wants to know, how do I stop faking with my girlfriend? Well, uh, there's, you, I can think of some subtle ways to do it, but you know what? If, then you're still faking. Because, I mean, this one woman that was in a in one of the workshops, she said, I've been faking orgasms with my husband for five years. Five years. And and I just now learned how to have a real one. So now and, what do I do? <laughs> and the real one is completely different from my faked one. And so I said, tell him you went to this class and you learned how to come a different way. It's a new orgasm. Uh, so it's a new orgasm. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's going to work with her. She just has to come clean. Yes. If you're in a lesbian relationship and it's only been a few months and I think a lot of people fake in the beginning because it's hot, it's very intimate and vulnerable to really have a huge orgasm with someone else. Uh, it's not, it, it's, first of all, it's not that easy. It really no, isn't that easy hard. to let yourself be that vulnerable to have a big orgasm with your partner. And I think this is a, this is a new love affair. It's a new love affair and she's been faking. So how does she go from faking to Well, here's faking. what happens. She and the way she said it in the in the question was that uh, she and her girlfriend are having sex, and uh, the girlfriend comes rather quickly. And so she wants to match it. Well, no, and she doesn't want to keep going because it's like pressure. Now it's my oh. turn to come, and so we're going to do whatever you need it. And then and then you really get caught up in a in a pressure cooker. Performance so, anxiety. I mean, that's really what it is. I think women are facing more, much more performance anxiety. Than men, and we never talk about it no. because they say, "Oh, women, they can always have." You sex. just spread your legs and a little lube, and you can have Duh. sex. So, come clean. Just confess. Don't do it. Now, what, how do you confess? Do you confess in the bedroom? Do you confess in clothes? Like maybe you don't. Uh, however, however you can manage it, it's not going to be comfortable whether you're in bed and it's right afterwards. No, you're not going to do it in bed. No, you can't do it in bed. That's what I'm saying. We have to tell them how to do it. Okay. You don't do it in bed. <laughs> you know? uh, first of all, the next time you have sex with your girlfriend, don't fake an orgasm. But see, what she does is she said she gets very upset. Well, yeah, you want to bring your partner pleasure. And if it worked before and she's like, what happened now? She has to know. I don't love you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping with someone else. <laughs> She can just level. I mean, I, there's nothing like honesty. I know... Everyone appreciates honesty. No, they not at first. Eventually they do. And if she doesn't appreciate it, then you know what? Move on and learn your lesson not to and, fake. Yes, and just let her you know, know that I, I don't come that quickly. It's, it's going to take me a lot longer. Or after she has sex with her girlfriend, just say, mm -hmm. now I'm going to just take a little more time and have another orgasm. Ooh, uh -huh. I like that. Uh -huh. I like that. I did that once. I was like, I'm just going to grab my vibrator and have another orgasm. <laughs> and and so I'm kind of all turned on now. And, the, and I, I don't want to stop because you got me so crazy. And oh, so I'm so Randy. crazy Ram. hot. Yeah. <laughs> Your girlfriend can watch how, you, how you're coming. I don't know. They, I think it's so good to watch each other masturbate. It's so hard to know how to, where everyone's buttons are. Why do, can we just do that as the first sex act? I don't it understand. It is the best way to learn about your partner's pattern. I would even like someone to send me a video on their phone, just of their genitals. I would love that. They were just like, this easy. is what we're going to do tonight, and this is my genitals. <laughs> exactly. This is how I like it. And then you put your hand on your clit, and you go, this yeah. is how I like to be stimulated. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, no, that kills romance totally. Right? I know, I'm just teasing. She's just teasing. She wouldn't really do that. So, well, come. <laughs> I'm not saying that. You're a nasty little girl. <laughs> just a nasty little girl. Admit it. Come clean. Confess. Tell her you love her so much you were afraid to hurt her feelings. Tell her what you told me. Yeah. Straight to her little sweet face. And then kiss her and hug her and mwah, mwah, mwah. And then just say, I'd love us to masturbate together so that you can see what my pattern is. And when I can't come with you, it's not because I don't love you. It's because I have a different system. And that's all it is. There's no judgment in that. No. and It's this, not about someone not being attractive or you not having feelings for them. It's, no, that would to me be a real act of love. That, that really would be. It would be. Yeah. It really means a lot because it means that I'm willing to work through this with you 
to get to the other side because I know it's going to be amazing. Yes. Instead of just walking away and just finding someone else, which is always the easiest well, thing to do. Well, walking away or, or faking another orgasm, which is what she's been doing. Mm -hmm. So to all the women listening, if you get caught in that faking an orgasm thing. It's vicious. It's a trap. It is a vicious trap. So try to avoid it. And at one point, if you're doing it and you and it's time to let it go, just confess. Honesty is always the best. It really is. So tell the truth.